You're watching Classic TV on Wayback Machine 1 from Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis to Jack Benny, all for free. Subscribe today. Wayback Machine. Thanks. In our community, the firehouse stands as a symbol of eternal vigilance. The firemen undergoing a schedule of constant training. Men, in the course of your training to become firemen, you will discover there is a right way and a wrong way to perform your duty. Now, in order to draw the comparison more sharply, you will witness the wrong way first. After which, I, myself, We'll show you the right way. Now then, I shall need a volunteer. I will warn. Good. Good. All right, men. Now pay close attention. You men will find hose procedure quite simple. The rewind mechanism operates similarly to your window shade at home. <laughs> Several correct ways of forcing open a locked door. That was not one of them. The net. Even in jumping into a life net, there is a right way. to set you straight. That fire chief with the white hat and the black heart is Warren Packard. Warren's made quite a name for himself since he became chief, but the men only use it behind his back. This is Smokey Stevens, our hero. As you know, heroes are usually in trouble, and being heroes, they usually get out of it. But Smokey's trouble is permanent. His sister is married to it. Yes, the chief is his brother-in-law. Now that you know who to cheer and who to hiss, you're on your own. Let's not argue anymore, dear. He's my baby brother. 1946, Lake Arrowhead, the honeymoon. 
Suppose she's got in mind taking him to a wedding. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a wedding. Just the wedding. He's not only going for the bait, he's helping her reel him in. Oh, no, Maggie's different. Sure, she's different. They're all different. Benson, you met my wife. Ever see anything as different as her? <laughs> the only way they differ is in how long it takes them to pull you into the boat. You guys have got Maggie all wrong. She doesn't want to get married now. She said so herself. She wants to wait. Benson. If he was smart this afternoon, he'd find a dentist that'll pull him a couple of teeth. Or maybe take a trip someplace, like up the Amazon. Or try Monte Carlo for the suicide season. Yeah, but Maggie's not like that. Finish the following sentence. When you play with fire, you're going to get burned. Have a nice time at the wedding. <laughs> Pay attention to them. You're not scheming to hook me, are you?
And who will you be cheering for? Well, I don't even know who's playing. <laughs> That's what I mean. Marry the girl. You know, I never thought of it that way. Pop, hmm? you're hurting me. Could I have a dime for ice cream? You had ice cream last week. Here's a dime, Richie. Smoking. You don't have to take this as a testimonial for marriage. But Blossom and I laugh at the electric blanket ads. Ha! <laughs> Up to now, I never realized I was so unhappy. Maybe I should... Maybe. The road to loneliness is paved with maybes instead of I do. Right, Warren. I'll have a talk with Maggie one of these days. One of these days? It's that kind of manana thinking that put them ahead of us in the middle race. Don't think of manana. Think of today. <laughs> Well, 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 well. Looks like I'll have to buy a for rent sign, put it on the front lawn. Do that. They'll be standing in line to rent a lovely suite over a garage without a bath or kitchen or even a window for only $90 a month. Sure. And when Smokey moves out, we can always hire a babysitter for a dollar an hour. What's another $20 a month to you? And in the summer, when Smokey isn't around to spend his vacation painting the house, don't you worry. You can always borrow from that nice finance company. They'll be happy to lend you up to $1,500. At 12%. <laughs> gave a lot of thought to what I told you today. Oh, I, I, I did, Warren, and, and I think you're absolutely right. Of course I'm right. No matter what anybody tells you, don't get married. Don't worry, Warren. Uh... What? Don't get married. Yeah, but you said... I said it then, and I say it now. Don't get married? Right. Yeah, but what about the new car and owning my own home and having the care and affection of a lovely woman? My boy, no wife is going to stand by while you enjoy the care and affection of some lovely woman. <laughs> yeah, Warren, but... Oh, said, wise up. Don't you know anything about taxes? Well, uh, who gets tax exemptions? Well, married people. With children, right? Right. What about single people? Well, they don't get exemption. And without exemptions, they can't afford to get married. It's only the married people who can afford it. So don't get married. <laughs> what about companionship and about not being lonely and sharing with someone? Who else was in the room when I said that? Blossom. I rest my cage. Hey, Uncle Smoke, don't forget to come over and practice today. The team is expecting you to teach us those new plays. Did you hear that? Say that last word again. Plays. Plays. Get the S's next year he has braces on his teeth. <laughs> How much money have you spent this year on your kids' teeth? Well, Warren, you know I don't Then have... why do you want to buy braces for kids you don't even have yet? Well, I don't want braces. I'd rather have a sled. You pin your hopes on having a bright kid and what happens? He wants a sled on his teeth. I feel like I came in the middle of a movie. So? You don't get mad at me? Right! I don't know how to thank you. you. You stopped me from making a terrible mistake. It's a pleasure helping you out. <laughs> hey, Charlie, these blue suits really pick up a lot of lint. You know, the last time I wore one like this was when my grandfather passed away. Well, no connection meant, Charlie. What's wrong, Charlie? You seem a little nervous. Oh, just thinking. Yeah? Uh, about what? Oh, nothing much. Just thinking, you know, kind of thinking. You mean like when a man's drowning and his whole life passes in front of him? Yeah, sort of. No, it's a, a funny thing. Two weeks ago, if anybody had given me odds that I'd fly to the moon or get married, my money would have been on the moon. Who figured to get married? Jane? Listen, Charlie, if you'd rather we didn't talk about it. Oh, no, I just as soon talk. After all, I might as well talk about it. Talk, talk's good for you. After all, I, let's, let's talk. I gotta talk. All right. Uh, what would you like to talk about? Oh, I, I don't care. Anything. Well, uh, how did uh, Jane happen to hook you? I mean, how, when did you two decide to get married? Who decided? You might say it was fate. Hers. <laughs> like she invited me over the house to play Monopoly and... As I recall, I, I had the game all sewed up. A couple of the cards fell on the floor, and I was down on my hands and knees looking for Pennsylvania Avenue. 
I happened to look up, and there's Janie standing over me with kind of a funny look in her eyes, and she says, yes, 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 you've made me the happiest girl in the world. <laughs> Fast? Before I could even get up, her father runs into the room, shakes my hand, and says, Son, welcome to the family. Well, Charlie, you didn't get much of a break, did you? Who does? When a girl decides to get a ring on her finger, you've got as much chance as a deer looking into the business end of a hunter's gun. Well, look, Charlie, if that's the way you feel about it, there's always the back door. After all, this is a free country. <laughs> Janie's brother. Hi, darling. Oh, hi, Maggie. You look so handsome in your blue suit. Thank you. Gabe, you better kiss the night over the phone this morning. Not something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. <laughs> You certainly need someone to take care of you. Stop fidgeting. You're like a small boy getting his first haircut. Or, or a prisoner getting his last. Are you sure there's nothing wrong? No, everything's fine. You're staying for the reception, aren't you? No, I can't. I promised Richie I'd coach a team today. Oh. Wasn't it smart of Jane and Charlie to decide on a small wedding instead? A instead of what? Instead of a large one. No, no, I, I don't know. Well, which do you prefer, large or small? Well, neither. I mean, me? Well, I don't, I don't know. Which, which do you prefer? Oh, I think a small one. How about you? Me? Well, of course, I don't know, because I have to find out if Charlie Mecklenburg needs a sled on his teeth. <laughs> I have to see if he needs some help. I'll be... I'll be... I'll be... I'll be... I'll be... Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Which is an honorable estate, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. So let's to get a ring. When a girl decides to get a ring on her finger. When a girl decides to get a ring on her finger. When a girl decides to get a ring on her finger. You've got as much chance as a deer looking into the business end of a hunter's gun. lawfully wedded wife. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> As I was saying, do you, Charles, take this woman? I just can't seem to get with it today. I got too much on my mind. Can't. What's the matter? Anything we can do? Well, thanks anyway, but this is a grown-up problem, and it's tough to explain. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll bet it's a girl. How did you know? When you're over 13, it's always a girl. Oh, and sometimes when you're under. I bet it's that old Miss Dennison, the school teacher. Gee, even at Eddie's age, it's obvious what she's doing to me. What's she doing to you, Smokey? She's trapping me. That's what she's doing. She's trapping me into getting married to her. I'll get even with her, and I won't do my homework. You don't do it now. We gotta think of something. Coach sales is more important to the team than I am, so I'll marry her. That's swell of you, Freddie, but it's my scalp she's after. Honest, I don't mind. She's pretty. Sounds pretty. Maybe she can fall in love with another man. Like who? How about Frank Sinatra? My sister's in love with Frank Sinatra. So is mine. So is mine, and she's married. Well, I'll just tell you you don't want to get married. That's it. That's what I'll do. It's got to be done. I, a man's got to face problems like that. I'll just go over there and I'll say, Maggie, you listen to me. Uh, try anybody. Uh, try Frank Sinatra. Try anybody, but not Smokey Stevens. I am not going to get married to you. Yeah. Why not? It'll break her heart. Oh, don't I know it. You'll probably get hysterical, but it's got to be done. I'll see you. If Smokey's plan doesn't work, as always me. Sit down, Freddy. Maggie, I think you better sit down. And I think you better get a grip on yourself because, oh, you poor kid, I don't want to get married. 
Please, now, no tears, because tears are a woman's weapon. Oh, I know you think in time that... I really am sorry you missed the reception, honey, because everyone asked for you. And guess who caught the bride's bouquet? <laughs> Maggie, I've got a bad shock for you, and I think you better sit down. Honey, I am sitting. <laughs> Maggie, now get a grip on yourself, because what I'm going to say is going to shatter you. I don't want to get married. Fine, darling, then I don't want to get married either. Please, now, no tears, because tears are a woman's weapon. Actually, I don't think we should get married. Oh, I know how you feel. At first, you think your life is over, but you'll see in time, Hi, time will heal. Oh, the oven. Yeah. Oven? Oven? Maggie, don't do it. I'm not working, Maggie. <laughs> Well, you said, I don't know what's wrong with you today, honey. You embarrassed everyone at the chapel, and now look how you're acting. Oh, you poor kid. It didn't even sink in yet. Maggie, I don't, don't want to get, get married. married. Then it did sink in. Uh-huh. And you're not upset about my not wanting to marry you? Do I seem up, sir? Well, not very. Honey, you watch the coconut shreds oh. on the roof. Well, then, you're wonderful, Maggie, and, and, and so understanding. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Wonderful. <laughs> well, I was rough on her, but she'll thank me for it someday. Hey, how'd you do it? What'd you say? Well, I just said I wasn't going to marry her, and that's that. Benson, this boy's a tiger. A uh, tiger. What'd she say when you put the clamps to a smoke? She said, she said, that's fine. She said she didn't want to marry me either. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't want to marry me either. The tiger doesn't look too happy. It looks like he's going to cry. Yeah. I think he's going to shrink his stripes. I've got to get her back. Get, get her, her back. back? What for? I like coconut macaroons. Benson, looks like our tiger turned out to be a pussycat. Aren't we all, Hogan? Aren't we all? Believe me. I didn't know what I was saying. You were saying you didn't want to marry me. Oh, they had me stampeded. They, they had me convinced that you were just trying to hook me. And I only wish it were true. Maggie, you know how I feel about you. Oh, honey. I feel the same way about you. Then you will marry me? No. I don't understand. I know it. It's another man. Oh, sure. It's a Cary Grant. Come on, Maggie. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to tell me, but who is it? All right. All right. I confess it's... Uh... Frank Sinatra. Eddie was right. It is Frank Sinatra. All the way. Anybody home? Maggie? Yeah? Oh, no wonder I never found out about him. You got him using the back door. No, 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 honey. And you a school teacher. Don't you know who that is? I'll get you to Mrs. Sinatra and come around the house Clyde? Yeah. Sinatra was doing so well, he sold his route to Clyde. I'm sorry. Maggie, I've delivered milk to you and your mother in all kinds of weather, but none as balmy as this. <laughs> well, Maggie, don't get mad. I'm not mad. Well, then you will marry me? No. The answer is still no. Well, why? Because a woman wants a man she can depend on. The only thing I can depend on with you is that something's going to happen that shouldn't. Well, you've noticed it too, huh? Oh, if I kept a list of all the things that happened to you, the governor would declare you a disaster area. You know, I don't understand it either. I, I try my best, but things seem to get away from me. It's been that way ever since I can remember. Sometimes I go to bed at night and I think of how the day went, and I say to myself, Smokey, when that alarm goes off tomorrow morning, you ought to stay in bed. You know, I, I don't know why I go out with you. You're not handsome. Well, if a fellow looks like I do, I'm not bad. <laughs> so why won't you marry me? Marry you? I, I wouldn't talk to you on the street if I didn't love you so much. Listen, Maggie, that's no excuse. After... Love me? You love me? Then you will marry me. No. no. Why? No. Not until I can respect you. And I certainly can't as long as everyone takes advantage of you. 
Everyone, name someone that takes advantage Warren of you. Warren Packer. He bullies you and humiliates you, and he fleeces you out of your money. Well, listen, if Warren's doing that to me, he doesn't know about it. Who else but you would pay $90 a month for one tiny, pathetic room? Oh, I'll never forget the time I went over to surprise you with curtains and found there was no window. And, and who painted his house last summer? Well, I did. When? On my vacation. Did he pay you? Hmm. And you do his gardening on Sunday. You babysit for him. You crawl under his house and fix the plumbing. You climb on his roof and fix the TV. Oh, darling, can't you see he's bulldozing you? There ought to be laws for people like him. I'm going home and give Warren Becker the piece of my mind. Well, it's about time. And the next time you see Warren Becker, he'll be wearing a fat lip. Smokey, <laughs> you're supposed to put out fires, not start them. <laughs> Warner for Fidelis and watch out, Warren. <laughs> no, no, I... You're going to apologize to Smokey for being so nasty and dreadful or tonight you're sleeping on the couch. Blackmail. You bet. Apologize or tonight the electric blanket ads will be laughing at you. All right, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. Take my blanket back upstairs, Richie. Mom, all right. I'll be listening for your apology to Smokey. Or don't bother coming upstairs. Warren, I'm glad you're here. I won't have a talk with you. Let's keep our voices down. Listen, there's going to be some changes made around here. You've taken advantage of me for the last time. Oh, your voice. I will not. I'm tired of being bullied by you. After all, Warren, I live in a... <laughs> Uh, what is it you were shouting about? Well, sir, I'd like to request uh, make a few changes, uh, request uh, uh, make a few changes, sir, if I may, no, sir. I'm listening, I'm listening. Well, sir, about painting the house, sir. Permission granted. And about the babysitting. What do you have in mind? Well, the same thing your neighborhood kids are getting, sir. Granted. And about the window. What about it? There isn't any. Correct. What? Oh, next. Uh, about the rent. No increase. Hey, Warren, and they said you weren't a nice guy. Well, we know better, don't we? Good night. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. I, I, I want to apologize to you for what happened today. You will forgive me, won't you? Sonny, I forgive you. Yes. Uh, say it again. I said I forgive you. Again, a little louder. I said I forgive you. Once more, give it all you've got. I forgive you. Oh, come on in, boy. That did it. Thank you, my boy. <laughs> well, I guess I said for Fidelis Tim. Well, Maggie hears about this. Classic TV, you've come to the right place. Wayback Machine One. Subscribe now. We're waiting for you. This is your old pal Dino, inviting you to subscribe to Wayback Machine One, the best classic TV shows and movies, all right here. Yeah, like Dean said, watch us together, both here on Classic TV. Way back, Machine One!